Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create online tests which will be having some timers installed in it. We can take the test either in a synchronous fashion or in an asynchronous fashion. Okay, so that for example, if the student faces some technical issues, some lags or because of some network issues, he's not able to give the test on a predefined time, then what happens is we can actually set a window, for example, four hours, five hours or a complete day wherein the student will be able to log into that test. The test duration might be for one hour. So that uh, timer begins as soon as the student logs in and the timer will be one hour for each particular student irrespective of when he or she logs in okay so for example uh, i have scheduled a test from 9 a.m to 5 p.m the student can log in anytime in between whenever he is having a full coverage full network for example i am logging in at 2 p.m so the timer of one hour will begin from 2 p.m onwards so this is how we can create an asynchronous uh, mode of test that is during uh, the entire duration of the day the student can log in anytime and appear for the test Okay, so I'm going to show you how exactly we can create such a test environment using Google Classroom, Google Forms and any uh, and this particular third party app which I'm going to show you. So we are going to use this third party app. I have already logged in into my Google Form. You can simply uh, go over here by typing in forms.google.com and it will open up. Okay, I have created a dummy form. As you can see, it is not having the actual questions. It is just having two sections. The first section is taking the personal details from the students and the, th and the second section is all about the test. Okay, I have added few dummy questions over here. Okay, so what exactly happens is you have to go to this add-ons section. So once you open up this add-on G Suite Marketplace, you need to type in the uh, exact name of this particular uh, add-on which is called as timer plus proctor okay so once you open this you need to click on this small uh, plus sign over here and then click on install in my case it is already installed okay so after installing it you will see the add-ons drawer over here on top you can click on it and just press this particular tab that is timer plus proctor it will open up in case it shows you something like this just refresh your page once again it might happen if you're having multiple user ids logged in uh, it might happen something like this as you can see once again so keep on refreshing the page until and unless you get something like this that is settings results and help so once you uh, get to see such an interface you need to click on settings okay so once you click on settings the actual app drawer will open up and then you are free to make the changes accordingly as you can see this is the main application window over here we are having three uh, navigation panes first is the main window then the timer and then the proctor so this application is very handy if you want to conduct a proctored test where the students uh, are requested or the students are required to keep their microphones or their cameras on you can restrict that uh, you can do so by keeping it mandatory or otherwise in my case i have not kept it mandatory so i have not ticked any of these options otherwise what you can do is you can monitor the activities of the students remotely also what this app does is this particular add-on keeps on uh, taking photos of the student while he or she is appearing for the test and if they find any abnormality or any anomaly during the test it will at the end of the test uh, generate a report which will show you some uh, measures which will show you some percentage uh, that actually tells whether the student has tried to copy anything from the internet whether the student has switched multiple tabs while appearing for the test etc etc so this comes very handy if you want to have a proctored test but in my case i am not going for a proctored test so i have not ticked any of these options similarly you can set a timer let me set a timer for example a 10 minutes paper i'm uh, i can set the start date of this paper i can click on this this calendar and select the start date i can start the paper at a predefined time uh, right now it is 3 6 pm so i can set the paper around 3 10 okay next end date i can set any end date as i had told you in the very beginning i can keep the end date uh, for the entire duration of the day so 
so what i can do is i can keep the end date as 8th only and the end time could be for example 5 pm so 5 pm is 1700 that is a 24 hour clock and then uh, there is an option of auto closing the test i would recommend that uh, whenever you are clicking any of these options just hover your mouse above this i button it will show you exactly what this button is all about so uh, when i click on this it tells me that if enabled the test automatically closes once the time is up if the test taker doesn't click on submit all the answers will be lost that is why i have not ticked this because it might happen that a student may run out of time and his paper will not get submitted so to avoid this you can untick this what happens is if the timer runs out whatever the student might have ticked till then it will automatically be submitted but if you tick this it will not get automatically submitted that's why i have kept it unticked okay so after doing all the changes just update the settings and then go back to the main page now as you can see there is something written on top remaining 200 and uh, remaining 200 timed only timed and 50 proctored tests so right now i have created an only timed test uh, initially this particular add-on uh, provides 200 uh, tests for free uh, during this covid time i have done some research on this application they have actually provided 500 tests for free so the remaining 300 can procure once you uh, end up using these 200 free tests they uh, uh, provide a uh, survey form you need to fill that survey form and after filling it up those extra 300 tests are added onto your account okay so initially they are giving 500 tests for free and after that they charge uh, i will also show you what exactly are they charging they charge around 375 rupees for 1500 more tests it basically comes as a test pack uh, you can say a, a similar to a recharge pack uh, if you are uh, if you have a, a depleted if you have used up all your tests you can buy a recharge pack a test pack and then use it uh, if you are having an organizational email id your organization can uh, procure the uh, application for the entire organization at a discounted rate so if you are working for an organization you can contact them and ask them that you need this particular app and they will provide you this app at a discounted rate even i am not endorsing or sponsoring any particular application i have just uh, gone through this application i found it useful so i am sharing with you all so this is how it works so uh, as you can see over here there is an option of test link when you copy this test you can simply either share it with your students like this this is how it uh, looks as i had uh, set the time as 310 it will open at 310 only because i have scheduled it okay so after 310 i will again try to log in what exactly i was trying to say is once you create this test you can either share it directly with your students with the url or you can select your google classroom that is what I was uh, mentioning at the very beginning that I'm going to make use of Google Classroom, Google Forms and a third party app. Okay, so now uh, let me go back to my Google Classroom. So this is how my Google Classroom looks like. I have just created this uh, just for the demo purpose account. So I can create a test. I can reschedule a test, whatever I feel like. So right now, how to share it with my students? I can simply create on this create button I can go to assignment I can then set a title for the test test on security for example then go to add go to link and then you need to paste the link but before that let me go back to this form as you can see there is an option of selecting a classroom now it is directly linked with Google classroom you can simply click on the drop down button and select the classroom out of these options these are the classrooms uh, for which you are the student uh, for which you are the teacher okay so right now let's click on this test because this is the classroom i had just now created go over there click on test and as soon as you click on test you can see that your link has changed so i can actually have different links for different classrooms that i uh, that i have as a teacher okay so depending upon the various classrooms the links also keep on changing so that is again a very cool feature i found inside this application so now let me just copy this link and paste it over here once i do this this particular test 
will become available for the entire students who are uh, actually present in my class okay so this is the link but i can schedule this test accordingly as you know that we can schedule the test over here on the top right corner i can set the uh, test to be conducted today only but the time has to be given uh, something like this 15 15 13 or 15 14 whatever it is pm obviously okay so now it is 3 14 pm i can schedule it and exactly at 3 14 pm this particular test will become active for my students okay this is what i'm doing from the classroom section but as you saw that uh, when i was actually enabling this test i had set the timer the start date the start time to be at 310 so let me go to this link and check whether this link is active or not let me just refresh it now as you can see this link is now active it will obviously ask for the login but as i have already logged in so it is not asking me for the user id password uh, if you want i can show it in the incognito mode and then you will see that once i log in to this particular page it will ask me to use my google id and using that google id i will be able to authenticate myself so you can be rest assured uh, if any particular malpractice is happening or not because the student has to log in using their uh, official google ids or their official uh, organization ids okay so once they log in you can see on the top right the timer has already begun so after 10 minutes this uh, test will be submitted okay once you uh, click on this for example let me add some data okay so uh, let me add some data over here for example dummy at the rate dummy.com this is obviously not existing and then i can select any value i can select any class let me press next and this is uh, when the actual test begins what is cryptography i can select any answer right now okay it is nothing but uh, some sort of hidden writing or secret writing that depends on the student what is circumference of earth whatever you select what is technography hidden writing what is full form of csv comma separated values etc so once i click on submit my test will actually get submitted and i need to click on this click after submitting the test okay once i click on this it will prompt that have you clicked on the submit button at the bottom of the test yes so once you have done it again click on this yes i have finished submitting click on this and then test completed will be shown now you can go back to your google form and you can see that actually the test has been submitted click on responses and you will see this is just what i had entered right now okay so it is very simple it directly gets linked with your google form and once you are having a, a thorough knowledge of this application you can actually use it for your uh, module tests or for your unit test etc so this particular application comes really handy in such a situation so i hope you understood how to make use of this application and once you are done you can at the end simply export your sheet and it will look something like this okay whatever data you had entered this is what i had entered just now okay as you can see those values are present over here you will also get to know at what time the student had actually uh, started uh, the test the test was started at 3 15 etc etc so i hope you like this video and this video will basically be very helpful for teachers all around the globe because as we all know right now we are facing this uh, post pandemic situation where we are still fighting it out and trying to do our works from home so thank you so much stay connected with me do leave your comments your feedback your suggestion i would definitely get back to them and if you want me to uh, create a video on any particular topic do let me know i would be really glad to do so thank you so much stay connected stay tuned god bless you